Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey everyone, Kenny Tony coming at you today with another quick video. Um, as you'll see, I have big blue back behind me. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, I have a lot of stuff going on, um, but here we are. So with the video today, what we're gonna do is try to install the OEM trailer brake um, controller into the 18F150. Um, haven't really posted a video in a while, but I am gonna let you all know I did sell Big Black, so we only have Big Blue for right now. Um, my wife, her Ford Edge Sport, we had 205,000 miles on it, transmission went out. Decided that we're just gonna switch over instead of having a high mileage awesome truck, we're just gonna switch over and get something a little bit more gas friendly and I'll be posting a video on that soon. Um, have a couple different options that we're going back and forth with that we're gonna do a couple little mods to too, but it's not gonna be anything like these F-150s. So basically we're gonna have the F-150 here, big blue, and uh, we'll keep the videos rolling with it if anything that we change. And um, we're gonna do a couple little upgrades to the next vehicle we get hopefully in the next couple weeks. But for those of you who don't remember the channel, let's go around Big Blue. Blue 2018 F-150 um, sitting on a six inch rough country vertex coil suspension. Um, got the custom decals on it to match blue so there isn't any red on it. Got those from um, Brian Bliss. He's on the F-150 groups. Um, but he did a great job with these decals. Um, the wheels and tires are 22 by 10 fuel Contras on a negative 19 offset. Slightly stick out, but nothing crazy. Um, my last truck, my other one had a negative 25 offset. Not much of a difference. Um, 285, 55, 22. Neato Terra Grappler G2s on it. Love this tire. They took me to the blizzard we had years ago uh, when I had my other F-150. We have the uh, Morimoto clone, um, $50 eBay lights. I would say that they probably outperformed the others, but they have been working great, no issues. Have the Morimoto headlights in the front. Truck was built originally for my wife. Wanted the color match Ford F-150 grill, so we did that. Color match the mirror caps. Made a custom honeycomb grill down there. You all seen all these things in my other videos. Um, we put the OEM functioning puddle lights on the front, um, rain guards, tinted the windows, piggyback vertex coils in the back. We have the, hmm, I'm wanting to say Husky rear wheel liner, liners, or these, no, these are the rough country ones. I got the rough country ones here. Um, we have the Sport 4x4. Morimoto tail lights have the Ford, the F-150 um, decals in the back have the flush mounted reverse lights that come on automatically, have the backflip tonneau cover. Between the two tonneau, tonneau covers that I had on both two trucks, I will say I like this one better. It is lighter and it does give you the ability to shut the tailgate with the tonneau cover down. The Ford one, you actually had a rubber gasket that went across the top that you had to work with. This one not. Still, as you all see in my last video, I still have that same um, third brake light. I'm actually gonna be in the market looking for a nicer one, a newer one, because I think some of the LEDs are burnt out. I did go ahead and install the um, RCA um, DVD players that I had in the other truck. Just ran them under this little console here and just tapped into the wires up front. So they just play through the speakers. Um, I do have a video on that as well. Yeah, so what we're going to do today, it was easier from the other side, is get this trailer brake control in. I'm not going to just go every single individual part, so I'm just going to kind of stop and go as I go through it and let you all know what we're doing. Um, so, trailer brake control is going to go down here. So these couple pieces of trim are going to have to come off, and uh, we'll see what we're going to be working with here in a little bit. All right, so the first thing I did was use this little panel popping tool, went underneath here and pried up this little screen here. It actually has four little snap pins that go in there. And on the top, I am using a seven millimeter um, to get these two screws out that's up top. And once those two screws have come out, we'll just unplug this speaker and then there's two more screws in the front. 
All right, that panel is up. Two screws are out of the back. Three little snap screws that go in, or snap pins that go in up front. And then we'll take these two screws out right here. And we'll be right back. All right, so what we have is the front panel off. There are one, two, three at the bottom, four, five, six, seven, eight snaps that just kind of unpop. So just give steady pressure around the top, snap them off, and then they'll come on around the sides. So now that we have those off, I do see that there are two screws down here that's going to take off this little piece of trim that kind of just guides everything. Um, as you'll see, it has a little lip or a little ledge right here that's going to catch this piece of trim. I'm pretty sure I can work around it, but for the video's sake, I just don't want it to do it wrong and then somebody else do it, and then they end up snapping their pieces of trim based off my video. So let's get this piece out and uh, we'll go. So we got that piece of trim right there off with those two screws. And now we're gonna come back here and I've already popped up this piece of trim here. So I use this pry tool here and I went underneath the corner, pop, pop, pop. And then this area was able to lift up and then you have to pull it back this way and you'll get the two snap connectors on the front out of that piece of plastic down there. So I'm thinking we shouldn't really have to take off much more, but as I get stuck with different parts or different things, I will take more video. Okay, yeah, so I was correct, that was it. I went to the top with that same tool and popped the top piece out and there was just two pieces of trim and then it just slowly unsnapped the rest of the way. Um, I did take the four wheel drive plug right here loose. Um, so that is out as well. Um, so now the cup holder should just be kind of in there. Yeah, that's it. And it has the plug for the trailer brake on the back, okay? So we just went ahead and unplug that, took it out. I'm just gonna make sure this fits in here, okay? So it snaps right in. And it slides back into place. So, all right, there we go. Trailer brake is in, it's installed. I'm going to reverse everything um, and put it all back in. So I'm not gonna record all that. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when it's all done and we're gonna just talk about it for a second. All right, moment of truth. Everything has been reassembled and reinstalled. Trailer brake controller is in there as factory. Um, seems to be great looking. There are a couple things I'm going to explain in the video. Uh, I'm going to show you the codes that you have to switch in Forescan to activate it and be able to see the functions on your cluster. The other big thing that you have to make sure is, from a lot of research that I read online, all 2018s were not pre-wired for the trailer brake to be just plug and play. So you have to make sure you have the right fuse box and the right fuses so mine it seems to be one of the lucky ones that does have it all already in there so when i open my fuse box and i look at it my fuse 24 is the one that you're looking for to see if you have the trailer brake function i lay the fuse box as it is here with the um silver connectors up top here one two three and four and five that it correlates with this layout in the book here so the 24 is actually here in that double column. It's the last one that is in the horizontal um, layout. And that's the 30, which is right here in the horizontal layout. So like I stated, this is the one that you're looking for, um, the 30, which is right here. Um, and in the book, it's gonna show that that fuse correlates with uh, the trailer brake fuse. So we're going to go to 25. And if you use 25, or 24 right here, trailer brake module, um, the 30 amp, which is the one right there. So if your fuse box looks different or has less fuses in here, just do some research and just make sure you're doing the right thing because if it doesn't look like this, apparently your truck isn't pre-wired for it to be plug and play. So you might actually have to get another fuse box or just figure out how to wire it yourself. If you're a DIY person like myself, you'd figure that out. But um, let's get the four scan changes. 
guys so who we are in the vehicle i was not going to do the four scan change but i decided to go ahead and do it just for the sake of the video so um we have the four scan hooked up to the truck i have the macbook and we have the um extra hardware so that you can run some of the window stuff off of it takes a little bit of space up but it works well um yes it does have the high and low so i'm going to switch the switch down here real quick see if we can get these switch these changes done real quick and uh We'll see how they work for us. We're gonna go down to the instrument. Let's just see how the configuration one works. Um, trailer brake control module enabled. Trailer brake gain setting enabled. Let's go ahead and enable the trailer light status. See if that does well too. Um, transmission temperature gauge. May we enable this too? So, as you saw, I did go the easy route to make these changes. Um, so I'm going to write them all. It's going to tell me to turn the key off. It's going to tell me to turn the key back on, off, and then back on. I'm starting my vehicle because it's hotter and crap inside my car. But um, there. So once you stop this, you can also, I went to the um, module configuration, but you can also go into the as-built configuration and start it. And when you do that, it gives you all the blocks to where you go down to, um, to make the changes. So let's see, we would originally go down to the... Um, module that is 727 720-7-01 and we would change this letter here from 0 to 8 and it looks like by doing that it's already made that change and then we will also go down to the 724-01 and we will change the third digit here to 4 Sorry, I'm all got my phone bobbing around. Third digit here to four. Um, so as you saw, the changes that I did with the configuration actually took care of these changes here and it took care of the one down here. So everything's been changed. Let's see if it just makes any difference in what I do down here with the um, switch. So it says trailer disconnected, so that works and allows me to turn the gain up and down. Yeah, so looks like that's gonna be active and it's gonna work. So even though there's no trailer on it, it does allow me to do this, which it did not allow me to do before. So we are um, good to go. Trailer brake has been activated and everything works. All right. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. This is the end.